What's going on, everyone? Jared Star here. Kanye West, the icon, always finds his way into some form of controversy, whether it comes to rap beef, whether it comes to other drama, family beef. And here he is at the forefront of another controversial issue. Now, as we know, Kanye is the owner of Yeezy, the successful shoe brand. And he's basically having some problems with Adidas because they're making a knockoff version of his Yeezy slides. Now they're making the version, it's called Adidas Adelette 22, and they're selling this for $55. And it's basically, this is this is copyright infringement if you ask me. They're basically copying the exact same thing that he's doing, putting a different name out, and they're making money off it. Now to be totally honest with you, I feel like since Kanye is partnered and affiliated with Adidas, it's kind of harder to like sue in this issue because it's like they can argue that oh it's a partnership that we're allowed to share ideas we're allowed to do things that both benefit us but honestly it's just benefiting them like i said i don't know the terms and conditions of kanye's, kanye's contract with them as that could be a part of it but the way kanye's reacting i can assume it's not now kanye went to instagram to say this is yay driving down the same street kobe passed on maybe i feel that mamba spirit right now to Casper, I'm not standing for this blatant copying no more. To all sneaker culture, to every ball player, rapper, or even if you work at the store, this is for everyone who wants to express themselves but feel they can't because they'll lose their contract or be called crazy. Bravery is not being afraid. Bravery is overcoming your fear for your truth. This yay with the blue paint on my face. These shoes represent the disrespect of people in power that have the talent. This shoe is a fake Yeezy made by Adidas themselves. I'm not talking to DC about this either. Casper, come talk to me. Happy Monday. Now, Kanye is very direct to address the issue. A team that he's partnering with is basically replicating a popular shoe that sells out in three seconds and making them look bad. You know, even before Kim Kardashian actually talked about how a brand hit her up that had fake Yeezys and said that if they wanted to a partnership, but she respectfully declined because Kanye was her husband at the time. Now, this is someone who is more closer to Kanye in the direct business sense because Kanye partners with Adidas and they went and replicated his shoe. This is like when you do homework with a friend and give him the homework and you're like, yo, make sure you change it up so TJ knows the same. And they do the exact same thing but probably change the first and the last answer. And they might even do better than you. It's crazy. Like this thing is selling $55 and regardless of how much it sells for because always be resale. And it's not even about the money at this point. It's just about that people and the Adidas team are obviously taking advantage of Kanye's creativity abilities and wanting to get the bag from it. You know, Kanye has had multiple Yeezys with them, so they definitely got their fair share of money that they made off him. But they're trying to increase that even more by making a fake Yeezy shoe. Now, to be totally honest with you, the shoe actually is real, of course, because it is put out by Adidas, but it is a replica of the Yeezy slide. So, in a sense, it is fake and will be considered a knockoff because the Yeezy slides were the first one to come out with that iconic shape, and anything that comes after that will automatically be deemed similar or a knockoff. Like, that's just how it is. It's not nothing to knock Adidas. Well, it is, but it's just the truth of it because Kanye had it first. But I kind of feel it's going to be hard if Kanye ever wants to sue them or do something more because, one, he is with them for five more years. So, they did this at a good time for them because it's like they're going to have five more years to go on with this. So, this will probably blow over. And if they were to take it to court, they could obviously argue that. Kanye and them partner, so this is an idea that they took as inspiration from him and like they're just trying to pay respect. You know how people always BS the way whenever they get caught up into issues and just try to finesse the way out of the situation and say that they're doing it as a tribute, that they thought it was okay, or that was the terms and conditions of the agreement. Because when Kanye signed with Yeezy, he also said that he couldn't wear other designer brands or even just like Nike because that's just in the terms and conditions of the contract. And he obviously made that right because he also has partnerships with Gap as well as Adidas. And he obviously can't wear anything else, so he'll probably stick to rocking his stuff or maybe any of the homies merch that make in the rap game. But other than that, we're going to see how this one goes. Kanye is a post and delete type of guy. Like, he posts this thing on Instagram, and it's not there anymore. But he was very direct, so I'm just trying to see where this goes. But, yeah, man, if you like the content, like the video, DSG to start again. Subscribe for more.